hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh, welcome to the warning army and everyone else of course also i wanted to make this video yesterday but my schedule just got delayed a little bit by some things in life which you cannot control so it's coming today so sorry for that delay but i finally get to the next part of the queen of the murder scene album uh, this is the last part of chapter one if I'm right, I think I am. I looked that up, so it should be right. And the song is called The One. I kind of had some issues with, some copyright issues with the first um, Dust to Dust, Live from the Lunario, but the last one worked, so I will um, give this another try. Also didn't really found, found the performance from the other one, so... I will for this song stick stick with uh, the Lunario and I'm curious how it's going to develop. So the last one was well not my most favorite but it wasn't bad or anything but I mean I think everyone has his own list and what he likes and what he prefers most. You can leave a comment what, what you think is, is the best song of this album. Or the best song of, of the warning for you guys. I would like to know that. I think it's pretty hard to decide actually which one of, of the ones I heard I like the most so far. I mean they kind of grow if you, if you listen to them a little bit more. Yeah, it's hard to decide. I would probably say Dust to Dust or Survive. But I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I mean, I also like the Enter Sandman cover, but it doesn't matter. There's still a lot more to discover, so um, I would don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. One more thing, like always, if you haven't watched the song and you like it, then please go check out the original and give it a like. I will put the link into the description box down below, like I always do, and... And that's finally it. Enough talk. Let's get into the song. I think I like the song. I can probably already tell that. I like the slow build up, definitely. I like the guitar, it sounds pretty cool. And also the melody she was playing. And well, of course, I like the drums, you know that. She has just some, some sort of melodic way to play the drums. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Danny Carey, even though you cannot really compare them just because of the time signature, time signatures and other stuff that Danny Carey does. But um, I just really like like her playing. I also want to take a look at the lyrics, by the way. Uh, so wait a second. Okay, let's go. This Yeah, I like that shift once again, that little key change and that musical shift. Also Ale had a nice nice melodic bass line in that in that pre-chorus. 
Um, let's go. Yeah, I like the chorus. I really like the chorus, especially that last part with the harmonies once again. Kind of interesting that piano little part that was played in probably from from I don't know, I would say probably from just a record or something. And one of them, I know they all can play piano, so they probably have played it, but they cannot play play more instruments at once. I mean, you could try, but you would need, uh, it's gonna be difficult, but yeah, I mean, definitely filled up that that little space that was there and that's the little section after the chorus, but I really liked the chorus with this one um, a lot. I really liked, liked, liked the key changes and and also the harmonies. So yeah, I really liked the song so far, let's go. get into the last part I, I really like the chorus with this one it hits me the most probably and I absolutely enjoy this song so I also wanted to take a look at the lyrics and yeah it sounds like to me like that that love and that obsession that started to grow kind of turns into a pos possessive negative um, thing I mean, it already was kind of negative with the last song, just because it was a little obsessive with that uh, suppressed feelings that now come come kind of back, and it gets more in possessive in the in, in the feel and the thinking, and a little bit more desperate, I think. So not really too dark yet. I mean, it it turns a little bit into the dark, but not like. I mean, it's only chapter one, so there has to be room for more. I, I get that. Um, but yeah, I really like the song, really like the chorus a lot.
Yeah, great song. I really like it. I didn't pause so much in this. I hope it's not gonna get blocked or anything. Uh, just because probably I had not much to say, and I kind of wanted to to just enjoy the song. I really liked it. Um, I think it was not the most complex of their songs, just musically, instrumentally. Also, felt like Power was holding a little bit back on the drums compared to others, but it's still just, I really love the chorus and that, that little key change and the harmonies in there. It just sounded great. I mean, sometimes less is more, so you don't have to always um, always make things super complicated and high technical to be good sometimes sometimes less is just more and I really really like that song it's probably gonna be in my top three from them so far yeah great song I'm interested in how it's going to continue I mean still still a lot to go chapter two is next um, I don't have in mind how the song song is called but if you guys have any any preference what you think will be the best the best version of the song the best live or studio version for the next song let me know in the comments i mean you guys know the songs i don't so you might have an idea even though there might be different opinions on every song but i mean yeah let me know what you think and i hope i will see you back for chapter two very soon i uh, don't want to promise you a day because then maybe things get delayed again because something happens and I don't want to disappoint disappoint you, but uh, it's gonna be very soon. Yeah, I hope you liked the reaction. Have a great day. See you next time.